For oddly 20 lakhs, you can get the epitome of performance from Aprilia, Kawasaki or Yamaha. Or you could get this from Indian, the FTR 1200S. So I want to start with the design of this bike, which is very race inspired from its uh, little sibling, I would say, but you shouldn't call it that because it's way more capable than this. The FTR 750, which take parts in the flat track racing competition in America. Boy, what a machine that is. So this FTR 1200 was inspired by that. And a lot of the design cues have been straight taken from that bike. To begin with, the thick Dunlop rubber and the gold sack suspension and the uni headlight makes this bike stand out like no other. You are really curious to see what this bike is. People are always turning their heads. Coming back, the design of the tank is so immersive. It just blends into the seat like nothing else. Now you might be asking, this bike has a 13 liter fuel tank. Where is that at? Now, the designers at Indian have strategically placed the fuel tank behind the rear seat for that uh, balance when you're riding and the low center of gravity. And it's phenomenal, I have to say. The amount of work, the R&D done on this bike is immense and it all shows. <laughs> Here's where things get really interesting. The engine on this is the same from the Scout, but tuned and configured especially for a bike, something like this. So this puts out almost 125 horsepower and I mean, I don't know which ballpark I'm in but it should be putting out more than 100 nm of torque and boy that is a lot. Keep in mind that this bike only weighs 235 kilos. The seat on this bike is 853 mm which is handy for all riders to ride like shapes and sizes no matter what. I personally am 5'11" and I did not feel any trouble at all keeping my feet flat on the floor. Helping you there in the handling department is the Pro Taper handlebar, which is impeccable. It maneuvers, it's light, and it just puts you where you want to go without asking much questions, you know. Other than that, here's where the infotainment sits, and I love this part about the FDR1200S, because if you want this, infotainment you have to get the SU area and I think it's worth the money because you get TCS and ABS and a couple of other goodies as well when you pay for the S model and it's definitely worth it. This bike has 125 horsepower. Sounds scary, but when you ride it, it seems so seamless as all the power is distributed and it seems like an easy task. Yes, you do require a certain amount of skill to handle this level of bike, but it is never intimidating until you put it into sport mode. That's where this bike truly shines and it becomes a monster and can chase anything on the road. Gears shift seamlessly, the clutch is on the lighter side and overall this bike rewards you if you ride it correctly. The handling is nimble and the handlebar puts you exactly where you want to be. It's a turn and go with this machine and I love it. The suspension is apt for city riding and is also quite stable when you ride on higher speeds. If not, you can always adjust them because both the front and rear are adjustable. At the end what can I say, this beast has my heart yet again there is nothing in this competition that you can buy and i agree it's a hefty price tag 
but with the rider modes the infotainment the options it has the features it has the adjustable preload suspension in the front and rear i think this bike is worth every penny i'd also like to give a shout out to my boys at indian kochi kerala for trusting me with this bike shout out to shahan all his details are in the description below see you next time